Okay, there's situations where you may want to extract uh, profile data for, let's say, sheet metal components, just to make sure that you have uh, something you can estimate off of for the cost of something. Or you're just trying to get an idea of like the, the number of operations required in some way uh, to produce a part. And one way to do that would be to use the, uh, the table function to extract um, the feature data. So if we wanted to say get the flat data for uh, the active model that's currently in session, which would be the default here. And we're going to write this to uh, a table called my table. Uh, spell it right there to help. T-A-B-L-E. Now these other functions here, these open functions, I'm going to be, um, I'm, I've kind of preloaded these just so that we could use them, but they're currently turned off. So if we, if we run this, um, this nitrous cell automation, as you can see right here, you'll notice that uh, it did in fact produce the table uh, for the active model. And it's reporting uh, that we have uh, seven different profiles and it's reporting the length of those. Now this is in the units for the particular model that we're dealing with. So um, if you need to scale that data, because uh, let's say that this is an uh, inch part and it needs to be millimeters or vice versa, you can actually put a scale factor into the command uh, to scale it, um, scale the results for you. So in this particular case, let's count these up. So we've got the outer profile, which is, uh, is one, and then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven profiles in this particular part and uh, they are reporting being reported as such now let's go and turn on the rest of these models and let's alter our uh, our uh, query here to basically say i'm looking for anything with an f that is also an instance dot prt and when we run this um, it's going to purge our table recreate it open each of those models it's currently scanning each of the models that's in session and coming back with a nice report of all of the components that are here. So if you have a, a bunch of uh, sheet metal components in an assembly and you want to kind of run one call to just go get everything and pull that data back uh, based on a, a flat pattern or, or whatever your standard is for identifying those, uh, you could do that very easily. And this gives you a real nice summary of, of the number of profiles, the, the length of each profile, which would be uh, kind of important for determining the cost of the components. And then you could also scale each of those models um, also. You could also just extract this data and do a scale, uh, force a scale or custom scale afterwards um, using Power Query just as easily too.